Well, first of all, thank you very much for inviting me to join you uh, this afternoon, this evening. Um, this problem, as it relates to the uh, uh, funding of, of, of a wide range of initiatives, is not unique uh, to the Barzani Charity Foundation. It's not unique to Iraq. Um, and, in, and I must say that the, uh, that the Barzani Charity Foundation has got an exceptional reputation around the world for doing great work. And the, uh, whether they are IDPs or refugees, um, they have really gone out of their way and set new standards uh, in many instances at a global level for the work that they've done. Uh, but the, uh, the, the issues that, uh, that uh, are being faced right now with the shortage of funds are really come from a number of different uh, perspectives not the least of which is the fact that the, uh, the, the, the challenge from the conflicts and the war in Iraq uh, are, are behind, uh, generally behind you, uh, that the, 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 the conflicts uh, in the region are still there, um, but also that there are, uh, there's, there's a, 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 a potential for a global recession. There are the big do characteristic donors that have been part of the solution for a long time. Um, are refocusing their energies in different ways to support the IDPs and the refugees. Yeah, well, I, I'm not a politician. I am, uh, I'm not a bureaucrat, uh, but I, am, I very much advocate for uh, humanitarian uh, needs. And I do believe that, that when you bring the parties together at a table, that they need to understand what the basic uh, uh, issue is. And whether it is uh, Iraq or other others that have historically provided the aid, I think that there needs to be an understanding about what the next steps might be. And there are other ways to attack these problems and other sources that have been non-conventional in the past, other sources for, for income uh, and for uh, the, the donations that are needed. Part of the issue as well is that um, a lot of the resources that are donated um, uh, don't get to the people that really need them. Um, and for one reason or another, and I spend quite a bit of my time with other colleagues over the last number of years, attempting to find ways of increasing the, 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 the monies that are allocated um, and find their way to the, to, to the people. And I think that, that one of the uh, uh, things that we spoke of um, with the uh, head of the uh, Barzani Charity Foundation yesterday are, are looking at for these uh, looking at these different sources and I am not one to speak about how much or or, 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 or the, the, the nature of the uh, uh, of the Iraqi contributions to that um, but I will tell you that there are others uh, in the uh, broader Arab community that are uh, actively pursuing ways of improving the lives of, ID, of the IDP as well as the refugees. And I think those are untapped and unsolicited in many instances uh, opportunities for uh, the uh, Barzani Charity Foundation as well as for the great work that the people of Kurdistan are, are doing for these individuals. 